Well, 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 look who just bought Dubai's most expensive home ever. This billionaire who outperformed Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos this year just dropped the mic on an $80 million mansion. But it's not just the price that's impressive. Let's take a look inside Dubai's most expensive mansion. The Nant Ambani is one of the heirs to the Ambani's family's $93.3 billion fortune. They purchased this beachside mansion along with their sisters Isha and Akash in the northern part of the palm-shaped artificial group of islands. Media outlets have referred to the 10-bedroom beachside villa as the city's biggest ever residential property deal. Anant and Bonnie's new Dubai house has 10 bedrooms, a private spa, and indoor and outdoor pools. It, it boasts a two-story mansion and an open concept kitchen in addition to a fully furnished bar and salon. The Nod and Bonnie's new Dubai residence has some wealthy areas and glittering hotels nearby due to its proximity to the Palm Jumeirah, an artificial island constructed in the early 2000s. An inbuilt wine cellar is an exclusive feature of the house as well. With 33,000 square feet spread over two floors, a number of handcrafted masterpieces are also featured in the home as well as Italian furnishings. White exteriors with floor to ceiling windows give residents a clear view of the pool and beach beyond. According to reports, Anand Imbani will spend millions of dollars on security and customization. Owning a property in Dubai is a great investment, but you can never be too safe in terms of security. In terms of an investment, well, you can get a 10-year visa if you buy property worth at least 2 million dirhams. Real estate investments in Dubai are accelerating, and Dubai ranks third globally in terms of real estate market revenue. What makes Anant the reported lucky recipient? In fact, Varen Merchant, the CEO of Encore Healthcare's youngest daughter, Radhika Merchant, is engaged to Anant. Mukesh announced his succession plan at Reliance's annual shareholders meeting recently. In terms of the home, the transaction was listed as private, according to NDTV. Mukesh told shareholders that Anant has taken on his new role with great zeal. In addition to owning mega big houses, these business tycoons also own ultra luxurious ones. Antilia is Mukesh Ambani's South Mumbai attraction. In India, Antilia is the most luxurious property. It is a 27 story private residential skyscraper. There are also luxurious amenities like a temple, garage, ballroom, elevators, and a snow room that spits out snowflakes from the walls. Their impressive property portfolio continues to grow with the latest purchase. Antilia also has three helipads, 168 parking spaces, a 50-seater cinema, and more. Bloomberg reported in April 2021, the Ambani's had bought Stoke Park Estate in England for $79 million. It is the oldest country club in the UK, covering 300 acres. Anant will also have the chance to mingle with some of the world's most prominent A-listers living nearby, including Bollywood star Shah Khan, who reportedly also owns a Palm Jumeirah property. A luxury sea-facing property called Galita belongs to Mukesh Ambani's daughter Isha Ambani and son-in-law Anand Piramal, and is an investment of $153.56 million. The house of Isha Ambani is both elegant and modern. It was a wedding gift from her in-laws and covered 50,000 square feet. The house of Ambani's daughter is located in the mega elite Worli locality in Bandra, Mumbai. A grand view of the Arabian Sea and the Bandra Worli ceiling can be seen from the property. Anand Piramal, India's 37th most prosperous businessman, married Isha Ambani in 2018. Her home is well equipped with all the latest technological conveniences. The house is equipped with lift elevators with complete security. Separate offices are designed so that the couple can handle their urgent business without the hustle and bustle. They may relax at any time of the day or night in the salon and have makeup artists on call. There is a large lobby on the ground floor of the house designed to be multi-purpose. Additionally, the area has a round-shaped study that completes the design. One of the most attractive features of the first basement is the open water body, which gives it a mesmerizing appearance. The lowest basement can accommodate up to 20 luxurious cars. Reliance also bought a Georgian-era mansion in the UK for $79 million. 
the 49 bedroom property, which also has 14 acres of garden, a 27 hole golf course and 13 tennis courts is incredible. The Reliance Industries bought Stoke Park for $79 million despite owning the resort, sports facilities and golf course. The acquisition will enhance Reliance's consumer and hospitality assets. In the 1964 blockbuster, James Bond played a game of golf with Goldfinger on the property's rolling golf course. The estate, with the Georgian-era mansion set among 300 acres of parkland, has also been a backdrop for productions such as Bridget Jones' Diary and the Netflix British royal family drama The Crown. There are 49 luxury bedrooms and suites at the resort and 14 acres of private gardens. According to its official website, the Stoke Park Estate has a history dating back over 900 years, but it was used as a private residence until 1908. You know how most people save up for a concert or sports game ticket? Well, the Ambani family certainly doesn't have that problem, especially when it comes to cricket. Through their family company, Reliance Industries, Mukesh and Nita own their favorite Indian Premier League team, the Mumbai Indians. Founded in 2008, the club was valued at more than $100 million. So you're getting married. How about having Queen B herself at your wedding instead of a Beyonce playlist? In fact, that's exactly what happened when Isha married real estate heir Anand Piramil. It is estimated that Mukesh's bank account was drained of $100 million during the week-long extravaganza. When you're an Ambani, even first class isn't good enough. Mukesh owns a Boeing business jet too that serves as his hotel and boardroom when he's on the move. There is an executive office, a private bedroom suite, and a kitchen on board the aircraft. For $73 million, I hope so. For more than 20 years, Boeing has been producing airline-sized private jets like this. The Boeing business jet caters to high net worth individuals who prefer larger, more comfortable private planes. 19 passengers can comfortably board the 80-foot long plane. There are reclining seat pairs, dining tables, and sofas inside the main cabin's first compartment. The dining table is situated in front of a large entertainment screen and has a fold-out table and side storage. Each side of the plane has a large table with sofa chairs. For conferences or meetings, the space is slightly smaller and more private. This guy travels in style. Must be nice when your dad is worth over $93 billion and the 8th richest person in the world who owns some of the most expensive properties globally. It's just funny that when you make a purchase like this in Dubai, people don't even bat an eye.